the higher than diabetes. You are the most high God. Higher than stress and strain. You are the most high God. Higher than trouble. You are the most high God. Higher than tests. You are the most high God. Higher than money. You are the most high God. Higher than houses. You are the most high God. Higher than land. You are the most high God. Put your hands together for the most high God. Put your hands together for the most high God. Make a joyful noise in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving honor. Giving honor to God who is my everything. Giving honor to all of you in this place. Hallelujah. We praise God for all of you being here. We so appreciate all of you being here. Uh, we are going to continue in worship uh, dealing with this uh, concept of the harvest of the law, the love walk part two. But I can greet you in the name and the matchless name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> For those of you that are here and those of you are that are yet coming, we have reports some are still coming, but we pray for them that, that God blesses them to get here. Amen. I praise God for this chance to be before you. I appreciate all of you here today. Giving out of the God who is my everything and to all of you, my father's children, to my lovely wife. I appreciate you so much for continuing to support and press. Hallelujah. Uh, she prayed in uh, she prayed in a spirit in this room of peace. Hallelujah. That uh, that I so so appreciate. Uh, the move of God through her on a daily basis. She's continuing to pray for me. I pray that you all would pray for her and that she be encouraged as well to continue to walk in the victory that God called her to walk in. And I pray that you walk in the victory that God called you to walk in. For there is a victory for you. There is a victory for you. How many of you know today there's victory for you? Why don't you clap your hands if you agree with me? There's victory for you. There's victory. You got victory. You have victory. You have victory. Victory. Yes. You have victory. Amen. As we look at this, this concept of the harvest of the love walk, part two. The title of the message is Walking in Love Equals Walking in Power. All right. All right. It's that simple. Okay. Walking in love equals walking in power. Right. Looking in 1 John chapter 2, verse 20, and then skip down to verse 27. And then put your finger in 1 John chapter 4. Now this is uh, the letter of John in one of the last books of the Bible before you get to Revelation. It's 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and then Jude, and then Revelation. And it, Jude, or either Jude comes before 1st John or after. The 1st John is the business of John. But let's, let's take a look at this, please. It says, But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. Verse 20. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. Okay? Then verse 27 says, But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. Next, next scripture comes from um, 1 John 4, 7 through 8. It says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. All right. Read that scripture again. It says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, meaning love comes from 
God. And everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Loving God is an indication that you are now have been reborn from and of God and that you know God. So therefore, the suggestion and the hint is, if you do not love, that proves that you do not know God. Nor are you reborn in the spirit of God. He who, love, he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Walking in love, walking in power. All right, all right. I want to show some appreciation again to my daughter who uh, who got up and sung this morning. I mean, I was uh, I had since I had to preach, I had to I sensed tears welling up, and I couldn't. You know, you okay? I sensed tears welling up, but I had to I had to suck that down because I had to preach. And uh, but I so appreciate you all. Uh, I so appreciate her, and I appreciate you all encouraging her. I told her she has a beautiful voice. She has a beautiful instrument, and uh, she. Uh, Last week was in the chamber choir, her chamber choir concert. And they had the little, the, the not the little, but they had the long dresses on. And, uh, um, she was in the concert choir. And she did an exceptional job. Um, and I'm just marveling and watching all my children uh, grow in their gifts. Amen. But just, why don't y'all appreciate her one more time, please? Amen. Let's say it. 